boring. <laughs> it's very exciting. It matters to us. It's a personal thing. Huh? It's a, it, we're engaged. Huh? Our heart is engaged. Uh, our mind, our personality, everything. Everything is structured around this goal to attain our desired object. And what is our desired object? Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, and his service and his love. Because when we get these things, we're, then we're going to be completely satisfied. So, next one is Augriya. Augriya. But the Sanskrit contains so many wonderful words that describe all these different moods. And these moods are, these terms don't exist in any other language that I know of. Augriya means fierceness or dreadfulness. The anger or fury arising from another's offense or injurious speech is called augria. The symptoms of augria are killing, binding, trembling of the head, reprimanding, and beating. Huh? Like if you don't remember these bhavas, <laughs> just like... Huh? Just like Pondraka. One time Pondraka, he's this rascal. Uh, he said, I am God. I am Vishnu. And he even had he even had two false arms. So that he had four arms, right? Yeah, yeah. And he used to demand that people should worship him. So one time he came to Dvoraka. He came to Dvoraka. This guy, I mean, he had some, you know, cojones, right? came to Dvorka and he came to the assembly of the of the Kuru dynasty, the Vishni dynasty. And he walks right into the assembly house before Krishna. Right? And he says, I am Vishnu. And then he had to wait for a long time for them to finish laughing. <laughs> And then after, once they finished laughing, he said, I demand that you immediately give up the symbols of Vishnu. He's talking to Krishna, right? Krishna is sitting on this big throne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you immediately give up the symbols of Vishnu because I alone am God and all this like, stuff. And after this, they didn't laugh anymore. Then, then they started getting angry. Huh? And so Krishna said, Oh, you mean I have to give up my Sudarshan chakra? Oh, here you go. Catch. <laughs> there went his head. So that's a good example of Algria. <clears throat> then there's Amarsha. Amarsha means intolerance or indignation. Intolerance arising from being rebuked or disrespected is called amarsha. The symptoms of amarsha are perspiration, trembling of the head, change of color, anxiety, seeking relief, shouting, turning the face away, and admonition. Uh, there are so many examples of this in the Vedic scriptures. I, I don't need to go over it. There's many, many examples, especially in Mahabharata. Asuya. Asuya means envy. The malice that arises upon seeing the good fortune and qualities of others is called asuya. The symptoms of asuya are jealousy, disrespect, accusations, projecting faults upon the qualities of others, slander, scowling, and raising the eyebrows. Boy, whenever I read that, I think about my god brothers. What's that? Well, yeah, yeah. But in the, you know, for example, when, um, when Krishna heard the insults of Duryodhana, 
against the Pandavas, he got like this. He got, he got full of Asurya. Um, he was ready to kill them. He was ready to destroy the whole universe. He was so mad. Yeah. They were envious against the Pandavas. See? Yeah, they were envious against the Pandavas. And then Krishna was Augriya. He was, he was ready to just destroy everything. Oh, he was so mad. Yes. Asuya is especially when someone is jealous of another person's good qualities. Uh, Prabhupada calls it causeless envy. But this would be still material. No, if the person who is envied is a pure devotee and the person envying them is envious of their self-realization and their spiritual qualities, it's actually a spiritual emotion, although it's negative. No, it could be mixed, yeah, but it could be pure also. If it was like between two self-realized souls, then it would be mixed. I'm sorry, it would be pure. Like in Krishna Lila, there are many instances of this. Uh, when there's some fight between two different devotees, like that. No, they are self-real. People can be, you can, these vabas can be pure, they can be mixed, or they can be material. It depends on the object and the motivation. I, I think we went over that before, didn't we? They could be spirit. yeah, we did, I know we did. They can be spiritual if the object is Krishna, or one of his pure devotees. They can be mixed if the person having the bhava is in material consciousness. And they could be material if it's just on the material platform. Okay? Okay. There's a couple more, and then I want to talk about other things. Chapalyam. Chapalyam means restlessness, fickleness, rashness, or impudence. The loss of gravity or lightness of the heart that arises due to attachment or aversion is called chapalyam. The symptoms of chapalyam are lack of discrimination, harsh speech, and whimsical behavior. Huh? What? You don't like that? You don't understand. Ah. What don't you understand? What word do, did you not understand? No, what word did you not understand? Hmm. Well, what is gravity? When it comes to emotions, what is gravity? No, it means when someone cannot be moved. Huh? Gravity means the person's determination is absolutely unshakable. Gravity means, first of all, they don't necessarily display their emotion. They keep it covered. They keep it hidden within themselves. It's nobody else's business. It's their own bhava with Krishna. Uh, gravity. Srila Prabhupada was grave. Sometimes somebody would do something or say something nonsense in front of Srila Prabhupada and he would just become very silent and grave. Means he was like tolerating their nonsense. But he wasn't he wasn't going to change on the on the account of it. See? He wasn't offering it to them as a negotiable object. Oh, I feel like this. 
because they were too light. Lightness of heart means instability. Lightness of heart means you can easily be moved. You can be pushed around by changing conditions in the material world. See, that's lightness of heart. These are cultural things. In the West, we don't have these ideas. They simply don't exist in our culture. Huh? It's normal to have lightness of heart in Western culture. It's, it's normal to be moved to uh, lamentation or jubilation by ordinary material events. But this is actually a, a disease. It's a sickness. Huh? It's a, a lack of strength, a lack of gravity. <laughs>